You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. And we've got lots of good stuff going on all day long. Amazing stuff. It keeps getting better and better. It does. Not the least of which is we actually have David here from Samsung going to take a look at... Maybe you heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might have heard of them. I don't know. Little company. And, uh, make we a get, couple of things. Yeah, make one or two. You make four, everything. Uh, yeah, is there anything that Samsung doesn't make? Toilet paper, maybe? Oil yeah. rigs, I think. I don't oh, know. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the, in the world there's a toilet paper made by Samsung. <laughs> maybe, it probably is. Well, thanks for joining us. How's the show going for you? It's pretty good. There's so much cool stuff to, to check out here. And gosh, I can't believe it's only day one. You know? It's day there's one. so much going on. It's not a dream. It really is day one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Well, what have you guys been showing off lately? Tell us all about it. So we were really excited uh, today to launch a couple new PCs. Uh, we got a couple new exciting things going on. Um, one of them is a laptop, and one of them is an all-in-one. Um, over at Samsung PC, like you know, we're really excited to be uh, innovating stuff that works with the other Samsung devices. So, like you mentioned, like we make a ton of stuff, and we're constantly trying to find ways to get that to work together with the PC, so everything works together. Um, so we definitely have a couple new things. I brought one of them with me to cool. showcase and show nice. you guys today. Well, let me get out the uh, the little <laughs> the gadget cam. The gadget cam. Yeah, we'll we'll focus in here. So what do we got here? So what we Ooh, have here. Ah. This is the Samsung Book 9 2014 edition. Um, so a couple of people out there might be familiar with our Series 9 PCs we launched a couple of years ago. Uh, what we want to do is really keep that heritage alive and, and keep developing PCs that are super thin, super light, and super ultra portable. Um, this is the next generation of that. So what the Samsung uh, Book 9 2014 edition is, I'll give you a quick spec rundown. Do it. It's a 15-inch PC. Uh, it's got latest Haswell Intel uh, uh, graphics and processor in it, i5 and i7 versions. 100% solid state. We're going to have two models in the US, 128 gigs and 256, uh, available in the first half of 2014. And it's kind of like the big brother to the Book 9 Plus. So a couple months ago, we introduced Book 9 Plus, uh, which is a really exciting piece because it's got a quad HD panel in it, right? Like yeah. industry-leading panel display. Um, this is kind of the follow-up to that for us, and so we built on, uh, on a lot of those things. For people who aren't familiar with Haswell, what does it bring to the table? Is it power efficiency? What does it let you do? Both. So the thing about Haswell is it was great uh, for battery life especially. Um, right now we're able to get uh, about 14 hours of battery life clocking on this. Out of this That's thing? That's crazy. That's a 15-inch yeah. screen with 14 hours of battery life? Absolutely, Because yeah. previously people would buy a tablet instead of a computer just so they could make it through a plane flight. Yeah, exactly. You'd have to go pretty far to, to run out of juice <laughs> on this guy. Wow. <laughs> and what does it do for the power end of the envelope? Because you're not really sacrificing that much power for the efficiency no, now. No, no. Intel does amazing things. So every, every time that they do a refresh, they make sure that they're delivering on that power experience. Um, so this power, this uh, PC in particular, probably about a 20% boost over previous generations. 20%. And that adds up. That was already the top of the game last year. Wait a minute. Year. Stop. <laughs> Are you telling me that it's 20% faster and it has 15 hours of battery life? Yeah, so they're clocking about a 50% improvement on the actual battery life. Let's Take that, Moore's Law. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah. All right, so you said 15 inches. What's the panel like? Because again, you're not skimping on the screen either. Yeah, what's no, this? Is this a 1080p? So what is it? So this is a 1080p screen, but it's not just any 1080p screen. Um, so right now, all the PCs that Samsung sells for you. You were touching that. I know, moving. I saw it. So too. that's actually a touch screen. Oh, okay, totally. sweet. Yeah, every PC that, that Samsung and Teeve makes is touchscreen going into next year. Nice. So we're really focused on innovating kind of those, those super latest and greatest PCs. Sorry, and you were, I, I interrupted you, but you were telling us what else. You said it's not just a 1080p screen, but... No, so one of the biggest challenges uh, with having touchscreen on PCs is that, you know, this old problem that we had with PCs where we were trying to solve, how do we get the glare out of PCs? And yeah. we've introduced some really great matte panels over the last couple of years that address that. And then we went and we engineered Windows to have touch involved, 
And we got our same problem back that we had yeah. like several <laughs> years ago. So this is actually the latest anti-glare technology that, we're, that we've launched on this PC. Um, it's almost twice as uh, uh, less glaring as the PCs that we launched last year. And there's a special coating that we're putting on the glass um, to enable that. So I have to say, like while I'm doing this, um, we can see it's crystal clear. It, it, there, are, you can see a little bit of glare, but it, then it, yeah. I mean, here's our lights. Yeah. Okay, they're ridiculous, <laughs> it's right? It's like NASA. And stadium. so, <laughs> even to get those lights, I have to really come down here at an angle. But once you get off of that, which those are impossible to block out, all the refracted light, it's it's not very glary compared to a lot of the other stuff. I would have expected to see a lot more glare. So that is good. I like that. So what other kinds of? Uh, I wonder about the I/O. Yeah, what kind of I.O. do we have on this? Ports, baby. So we got some cool ports on here. Show me. you like port enthusiasts out yeah. there. There Show are me. port enthusiasts. No, really. <laughs> well, this is for you then. I like Stay a nice tuned. tawny port. A nice, you know? I like, I want to be able to plug my stuff in. Right. <laughs> so I see HDMI. Yep. So this is an improvement over last year's generation. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we had the micro HDMI. This year we were able to fit a full, full. HDMI. Nice. And what is that little thing right there? That particular port right there is a LAN adapter. So in every box with the Series 9 PC, oh. um, you get a cable. Okay. And that'll get, let you get plugged into wired but LAN. we got headphone, and we got, is that USB 3 right there? Headphones, USB 3, okay. kind of take you on the tour. There's yep. another side. And yet another There's side. There's a right, believe it or not. Uh, we got a couple more USB 3.0s. Uh, we also have uh, a VGA adapter port, so that's mini VGA. And that's important because sometimes people think they don't need them, but then they get a microphone and a camera and a draw, and suddenly you run out. Wait, oh, did yeah. you say a it's micro like, VGA? Yeah. So and an HDMI? Yeah. And it has its own 15 inch. You can't drive, you can't have three monitors. You could actually, yeah. You, you could, could be run them two different place. ones plus that one, and you have a three monitor laptop. You bet, and I bet a lot of power users are really into doing that. That too. is, I, I would do it. <laughs> I, Callie would, Callie would complain that it's not six, okay? But you know, <laughs> that's okay. That's Callie. So. Um, I also noticed now that I'm looking at this, this has an interesting. Yeah. What's up with the coating on this? It's kind of a sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see that it's like a sparkly surface. It looks it's like really space age material. And feels good. What's up with that? Yeah, that's a great observation. So, this is actually an update from last year, too. Um, we moved to 100% aluminum body. Oh. So, inside and out, top to bottom. Um, that really helps with the weight, helps keep it under four pounds. Which and is really cooling, great for right? Glass. And cooling, yeah, it's a lot cooler metal. Uh, so for heat dissipation there. So Janny in the chat room is asking about discrete GPUs versus Intel's doing Iris now on the Haswell line. What do you think? Is, is the Intel embedded getting good enough now? The Intel embedded is actually getting a lot better. Yeah, we're really impressed with uh, what they've been launching lately. Um, and as a result, we've made the decision we're going to keep this with the Intel graphics. Um, but yeah, it's actually had a, had a ton of improvements. Like, you wouldn't sacrifice any sort of, of things that you'd want to do on this. Um, and quite frankly, you wouldn't get 15 hours of battery life if you're firing up a big GPU all the time. That would be tough. Yeah. 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 And it probably would be a little bit thicker, too, yeah. if it had like the speaker. What about sound? Because sometimes, you know, laptops sound like laptops. So that's another really great point. Um, besides the speakers, we've actually made enhancements to the speakers. Where um, are they? I don't see I, them. I don't know why I actually, asked. They're actually up here in the grill. Oh, so you'd hear let me like see. Got speakers up in the grill. Look. Oh, okay. Speakers all up in that grill. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so the speakers actually are improved. On top of that, also, this is the world's first lossless sound PC. Really? So, do you guys have any uh, any guys out there that are kind of audiophile? Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. yeah. So the whole evolution with MP3, it's great, right? It's convenient. You can take it in your pocket. Small, you can stream it over yeah. the air. But what you miss is all that like rich sound quality that was originally done in the studio. Yeah. What we've done is we worked with a company called Wolfson to actually put a digital audio converter right in this PC. Wow. Now a lot of people who are, are really into audio, what they'll do is you can buy an external USB device yep. that you can plug into yeah. there. Yeah. Which is a that pain in the ass, and I'll never use it. It's an extra piece. We're gonna put that right in the box, um, and we're gonna serve up that lossless content for you, so you can really get that. So you can plug in a speaker here. You can plug this in your home theater system. You can get a really great pair of head headphones, um, and you can be listening to lossless music on here. Let me see if I can summarize what I've heard. <laughs> okay, we've got an all aluminum chassis. It's uh, four pounds. Yep. It's a 15.6 inch 1080p touch screen with a anti-glare coating. Yep. It's got basically the fastest processors available. Um, it's got, it could SSD. run three native screens off of its own internal stuff. 
and it costs one billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, one point five billion. Right, right. Made out okay. to you, right? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> though, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Um, I mean, honestly, it just looks like a beautiful laptop. Everything I've heard is great. How much is it going to cost us? We're still working out the details on that. We're going to make that announcement uh, hopefully really soon here. But you can expect to see this in the first half of this year. Okay. Nice. I, I, I think it's, it's amazing, and I think you could sell the heck out of it. I just hope that it doesn't come out and be like so, like, Apple expensive, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which be, I wouldn't expect, it'll but. It'll be you know. digestible. But okay. To be honest with you, like, we'd love for, uh, for people to check this out. Because pound for pound, like this guy can really compete. Nice. And that's what really a TPC, Samsung a TPC is, is focused on delivering. Is cool. that top of the line PC. It'll go nicely with that phone you have there, John. That's right, my it little was. Samsung phone. So that's another good point too. So any of our TPCs, they have a unique capability with Samsung phones. Um, you can actually use Wi-Fi. If that were on the same Wi-Fi as this, you could actually talk to the computer and you got a text message that come up, comes up on your Galaxy phone. You can return that text message right from the PC. No way. Totally. If you, let's say you wanted to find a restaurant, the PCs aren't equipped with GPS. You could use your phone's GPS to actually look up a rest restaurant. It's just you connect ecosystem, via Bluetooth. John. You connect via Bluetooth. You can either, there's two ways you can do it. You can do you it said via it's on USB Wi-Fi. or Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, the USB is nice because then you're charging your phone yeah. at the same time. But the Wi-Fi is also nice because you can have your phone literally in the other room. Is that an app up. that you run, or is that an embedded hardware kind of uh, symbiosis? It's actually a Samsung exclusive software, so it's called okay. SideSync. Side um, sync. Yeah, so side sync, uh, it's not oh. here, but it's a, it's a piece of software that we developed and we came up with. And this is the latest version. It's, it's, it's prototype, yeah, so it's still yeah, kind of a little yeah. bit messy on there. Um, but, but yeah, it does exactly what I said. It lets you transfer files even back and forth between the two. So let's say you're, you're typing up a, 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 an email or you're typing up a, um, a document on here. You can just literally drag and drop that over on And finish your phone. over there. So could I say they're great like by themselves, but they're better together? Absolutely. I think well, I have great. to say, if you are a kind of person who enjoys a Samsung phone and you're considering buying a new computer, this that is that is a big uh, benefit. If if all other things were equal, and you're like, ah, should I get the Samsung or should I get the whatever? Totally. That is a very good reason because now you can get um, added benefit yeah. that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Totally. So that's very and cool. I'll tell you about one other cool feature that yeah. we work with uh, the other products. It's a it's a feature called Samsung Link, and we have this on the show floor. And we're, we're just introducing it today to the public. Um, but what it basically does, it, it it allows the Samsung PC, this one, and the new all-in-one that we launched, to act as a server for all your files and your photos and your videos. So let's say on that phone, you're out here at the booth and you're taking photos and snapping them, it's actually automatically syncing them back to your PC so that you have a copy there. And vice versa, Fantastic. all the photos that you have stored on this PC are accessible from that phone. That's nice. Now, does, does that require, I, I, I was spaced out when you said this, if you did, D does that require internet connectivity or Internet just, connectivity only, but yeah. But can it be just over the same internal, like, LAN? Oh, ad hoc it has to go through the internet. Well, it has to go through the internet. So okay, yeah, if, okay. you have, if you have like a uh, wireless network set up, yeah. most people have the internet hopefully yeah. running through it. And yeah, it, it yeah. goes through the internet. I just, what I would like is, I mean, because we can do some things similar with a few other services, but I would like sure. to see one that doesn't force me to go through the internet because it's much faster Wi -Fi like, direct. within my own network yeah, yeah. or something like that. That's but but anyway, that's a, yeah. Uh, each of those little things that you can can give to build in to create a, a you know ease of ease of use between your own ecosystem yeah. devices. Yeah. It's, a, it's is a sense a of privacy and security too, because like um, you know not everyone is 100 percent comfortable with putting everything up in the cloud. Yeah. But everyone wants the convenience of yeah. pulling everything down from the cloud. Yeah. This is really the best of both worlds with that software. You get the convenience of being able to access it, but it's sitting right there on your protected hardware. And hard frankly, desk. when you announce the Samsung car, I'm looking forward to it working with all this <laughs> That's too. That's right. You <laughs> plug your laptop in, it's the brain of the car. Oh, it's it, it, you know. a pretty big dock <laughs> yeah. laptop in there. Ah, uh, it's easy. <laughs> you guys could do it. Well, thanks so much for bringing that over to show to us. It looks sexy. We will anxiously await its arrival in the market. And when it comes out, we'll definitely let you guys know that you can run out and buy it and how much it costs and all that other good stuff. So, you guys, thanks for, thanks for sticking with us. We do have more coming up soon, so hang in there, and we'll be back soon. Thank you, John. Thank you. That was fantastic. Yeah, thanks for